Alright, now before we begin, I'd just like to say it's Christmas time, and um, I honestly haven't been full of Christmas spirit this whole month that I've been doing the show. And, uh, whoa, what, what is that? What the? How are you? And who are you supposed to be? Uh, I'm you from the People You Will Meet video. Oh, you mean that train wreck, okay. You know, I would actually consider it a, an accomplishment, if you will. But, uh, you need to really lighten up, man. I mean, really, if you will, you need to lighten up. Lighten up? What are you talking about, man? Uh, I, I'm fine. I don't know, but if I was in the situation you were in, I would take a few weeks off. You know, you might want to consider that. Oh, where are you going now? Well, that was weird. I guess you can call that the Christmas Carol piece, so, uh... Alright, welcome to the show, everybody. We got a great one for you. Um, just sit down, relax, and enjoy your holiday as it's meant to be enjoyed. The most opinionated fact ever. So, you know, it's like the most um, commercialized and happiest time of the year, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, it's, it's also the time to be watching TV a lot. I mean, there's Christmas specials, up the ante, galore, whatever you want to call it. And um, here's what I'm noticing. The Christmas specials are from the 60s, but we can still enjoy them generations later. And that's where we come to the topic today. What if real life were like TV or what you're watching right now on YouTube? I mean, in all honesty, the last two weeks have been a little rough on me. So I seemed a little off and depressed, if you will. Listen, if I were on TV, the only stress relief I would need is poking the Pillsbury Doughboy in the stomach. And then he does that little giggle, and then, oh, I feel so much better. I should be one of the smiling people at the end of the commercials. Uh, but no, that's not what it's like at all. Um, I honestly feel, to finish off the month of December, which I'm doing this broadcast, I mean, I'm 18 years old, as we film this as we speak. Um, yeah, I just turned 18 today. Or as this video airs. No, no, not as it airs. I mean, as it's filmed. I just turned 18, so... I'm still a bit in shock that I'm, a, I'm s technically an adult now. Now, let's see. What does uh, 2015 have in store? Um, I honestly don't know yet. I also don't know the purpose fully. I don't have a full understanding of the purpose of New Year's resolutions. I mean, for years it was to lose weight and... Uh, get a girlfriend, but uh, that never works for some reason. And, uh, well, actually, you know what, the lose weight part did work because I used to look like, well, this. But, you know, most of them you can usually keep. I mean, you need a lot of willpower to keep a lot of these New Year's resolutions. I mean, there's one saying you won't smoke anymore, you won't drink anymore. Uh, You'll stop watching too much TV and be more of a book reader. Listen, once the, the silver screen or the small screen, if you will, uh, enters your living room and then you turn it on and then you got Direct TV, Comcast, Xfinity, yeah, basically all those good cable boxes, you know you're never going to put the remote down because you're always scrolling down the guide. Oh, look, we got HD channels now. Oh, wait, I can't click on them yet, can I? Because we didn't pay for the HD package, darn it. Now something that you also notice is that your favorite channels, especially during the night shift, um, your favorite channels, they don't play the, um, the, your favorite shows in chronological order as they usually do. They usually play all the Christmas specials in order. Now it makes no sense. How come Michelle's a baby here but she's like eight years old in the next one? It really does make no sense. Okay, why? Does Chandler and Joey look younger here, but then they look all orange and whatnot in two, the 2002 episodes, you know? Okay, one last thing. The music that plays during this season, you hear it a lot. I mean, you heard it even during November 1st, which is not even near the Christmas time yet. It's like Black Friday time and Thanksgiving stuff your face till you sleep time. But, you know, uh, the Christmas music is a, a great part of the holidays. It always talks about Santa doing some sort of an act, like coming to town or uh, jingling all the way. Well, anyway, that's the show for you. I guess uh, 
be safe this holiday season. I'll be back soon. And we'll have a great show furthermore. And I guess that's it. Okay,